to my channel. Today I had a lot of fun playing with the Jaclyn Hill palette once again. I absolutely love this palette. Today I created a much more bold look using some burgundies and some oranges. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. To start out today I'm going to prime my face with my all-time favorite primer and that is just the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. I like to start out with my brows and I'm using this NYX brow pencil in the color blonde. Now I'm going to carve out my eyebrows using Maybelline Age Rewind and I have mine in light. I like to just take a little brush and rub it on the tip here and then I get enough product to carve out my brows that way. When I'm done carving out my brows, I like to take the Age Rewind and just kind of go over a little bit of the redness all around my face. Now I'm going to blend that in with my Damp Beauty Blender. Once I have all of that blended in, I like to go back into this part of my brows, just the inners, and kind of try and fade them a little bit with the Beauty Blender. I also take the Beauty Blender just around the brows to kind of soften up that line. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation and I have mine in the Light Neutral shade. I'm also going to be mixing it with just a tiny little bit of L'Oreal True Match Lumi and I have this one in Nude Beige. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to scoop a little bit of this and squirt a little bit of this onto the lid and then I'm going to mix it together and apply it to my face. So it just looks like this in the cap. I've never actually mixed this together in the cap before. I usually just do it on the back of my hand but then I'm always scared I'm going to get the foundation everywhere. So I thought maybe I would do it this way and then I'm not wasting so much on the back of my hand if I don't use it all. I'm trying to be smart here. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I'm just gonna paint it on. Once again, I'm just going to blend all of this in with my Damp Beauty Blender. For concealer today, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Honey Medium. To set underneath my eyes and all the rest of the concealer, I'm going in with my RCMA No Color Powder. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of this Temptu Liquid Bronzer for my cheeks and my forehead. To 
To set that bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Park Avenue Princess. It's a really pretty, it's almost like a purpley bronze. For contour, I'm going to mix two different colors. I'm going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I'm going to be picking up this middle shade, Lazarus. And then I am going to be going into her Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm going to be taking this middle shade in Shadow Play. I like to just dip my brush in both colors and I think it gives just the I think it gives the perfect contour shade for me. For blush today, I'm going to be going in with my EX1 in Pretty in Peach, and it just looks like that on the inside. Very beautiful blush. I absolutely love this one. I think it's probably one of my favorites. For highlight today, I am going to actually try and mix three different highlighters. Um, I've been mixing this Makeup Revolution um, with this other Makeup Revolution. This one is called Goddess of Love. It's really pretty. It's like a, a pinkish, shimmery, obviously it's a highlighter so it's shimmery. It's very beautiful. It's a pink colored highlight. This one is called Everglow Lights and it's a very white highlight. I'm not the biggest fan of them on my skin alone, so I've been mixing them and I've been loving it. So I'm also going to try and mix Jeffree Star's um, Skin Frost in Siber Siberian Gold. Once again, love the um, highlight, don't love how it looks on me. So I'm going to try and mix them all three together and see how that turns out. Oh my lanta, I am liking this highlight. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and do the exact same thing as on my cheeks to my nose at Cupid's bow. Moving on to eyes, I'm gonna be using those same three colors to highlight my inner corners. So to set my eyes again, I'm going to be going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I'm going to be taking Latus, L-A-E-T-U-S, wait, yes. It's kind of a, a peachy color. And it's actually a little bit more peachy than I thought it was going to be. So I think I'm going to actually go in with Ludwin. It's the yellowy color. I'll be honest, I have absolutely no idea what I'm planning on doing for my eyes for this video. Um, but I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. But for my transition color, I'm going to be sticking with the Kat Von D Shade and Eye Palette. And I'm going to be dipping into the shade Latinas. I'm just going to be taking this color through my crease. So I'm not going to lie, that transition color got a little bit darker than I thought it would. But I'm still going to continue and I'm going to go in with some burgundies from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this or not, but 
I'm gonna go in with this color right here and then I'm gonna darken it up with this color right here. And now I'm taking that second color and just kind of tracing underneath the color we just put in. I'm trying not to take this color too high. Now I'm just taking that first burgundy color and just lightly tracing over the color that we just placed down just to make it all smooth and blended together. So I'm feeling like this look needs a little bit of orange, so instead of blending the top of this with the original transition color, I'm actually going to go in with a more orangish tone like this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to put this color on my lid and this color in the center of the lid. I have no idea how this is going to turn out and I have a feeling I'm probably going to ruin the look that, I'm already, that I've already got going, but you never know unless you try, right? Okay, now I'm going in with that second color and I'm putting it right over where my eye color is. So I'm starting to think I really should have um, cut my crease with some concealer because this eye looks a little bit muddy compared to how this eye looks. So that's kind of a bummer, but oh well. So I do need to add some highlight to my brow bones and my inner corners and some eyeliner and my eye look is almost complete. I'm going to be taking my Becca highlight in Moonstone and I'm going to be reapplying this underneath my brow bones and in my inner corner. For the record, this is the first time I applied it but I have applied different highlights so I'm just going to go over that with the Becca Moonstone. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be applying this Rimmel London eyeliner in the shade Nude. For my winged liner, I'm going to be going in with this EM Cosmetics and I have this one in the brush tip. I love this eyeliner. I got it from Ipsy and I'm so obsessed. I'm going to be so sad when it runs out, but I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this one. So what I like to do with this one is I just like to draw in my wing and then whatever needs to be filled in, I just go in with the Tarte Clay Pot. So now that I've got my wings drawn on, I'm just going to fill them in with the Tarte Clay Pot in black. And I'm also filling in underneath my upper lash line. For mascara today, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. And this is my all-time favorite mascara. For lips today, I'm going to be going in with this Mellow Lipstick in the shade Nude. To finish this look off today, I am going to be using the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Um, I did try this one once before. Um, I didn't really like how it turned out, 
but I'm willing to give it a second chance, so I'm gonna be using it today. I always like to wave it into my skin and then I go in with my damp beauty blender and just push everything in. Okay guys, so this is my finished look for today. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but it's definitely a burgundy styled look, so I'm sure it'll be somewhere along those lines. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!